Okay, is it possible to rocket ride the debris from the earthbending mythic? Which Fortnite chapter 5 boss has the most amount of HP? Will the fire from the firebending mythic light a campfire? And these are just some of the many myths that we are testing out today. So make sure to drop a comment down below of a myth that you would like me to test in the next or future episodes. As always, make sure to leave a like on the video. Let's see if we can smash 1000 likes. But without wasting any time, jumping straight into the first myth. The first myth is, can you survive in the storm with the waterbending mythic? This mythic heals you 5 HP per second but actually trying this out in game I jumped into the water super low on HP it healed me up super quick but as soon as the storm hit me the mythic completely lost all of its power the mythic was no longer healing me until I left the storm and got into another body of water where I then got the 5 HP per second going into the next myth the next myth is can an enemy find and dig up Midas's hidden treasure before you could dig it up this Midas quest is on the east side of the map a little north of Mount Olympus once you accept this quest you'll have two raiders on the map that'll take you to buried treasure and it leads to some op loot you have to be quick about this in game though because unlike the og buried treasure map that we used to have in fortnite midas's buried treasure is actually visible to anybody once you start this quest meaning somebody could steal the loot before you get to it and your radars will disappear off the map going into the next myth the next myth is which fortnite boss has the most amount of hp for this i kept track of exactly how much damage i dealt to each boss for the entirety of the fight using a warforged assault rifle it does about 26 damage per shot where boss zeus had about 600 shield and then another 600 hp just for the first phase of his health zeus then got knocked down i had to eliminate all the guards and the fight started up once again zeus this time had more shield at about 650 shield and 600 normal hp adding up to an extra 1300 health which makes a total of 2400 hp just to eliminate zeus himself but this is where it gets interesting redoing the exact same thing but for boss hades boss hades will have about 500 shield then you could add another 500 normal hp on top of that making boss hades have 1000 hp but going across the map once again it gets even better doing this with boss Ares, boss Ares has about 450 shield and 500 normal hp adding up to a total of 950 hp for boss Ares. and lastly boss cerberus has about 600 shield and 500 hp adding up to a total of 1100 hp i'm honestly unsure why there's a big inconsistency amongst the health for each boss when i honestly think boss hades has the best loot for the health ratio dropping a siphon medallion as well as an op smg for only a thousand hp that's not a bad deal going into the next myth the next myth is can you use a fire bendy mythic to light a natural campfire there's not many of these campfires around the map but i got myself the fire bendy mythic and made my way over to the closest one where right away i was shooting the normal fireballs right at the campfire where it didn't seem to light it at all it gave it the illusion as if the campfire was actually lit but after a couple of seconds it'll then fade away back to normal even doing a fire slam on the ground it'll do the exact same thing where it'll seem like it's on fire but it actually isn't lighting the campfire on fire and then testing both of these one by one once again to see maybe if it'll stoke the campfire unfortunately that's not the case either the only way to get the campfire is to light it naturally or to stoke it with 30 wood each time you could also use a uh, gas can as well that's uh that's a nice little secret too going into the next myth the next myth is will you take full damage while you're using the airbending mythic this mythic allows you to rotate around the map extremely quick and you could also climb up literal mountains i made a massive ramp to the max build height that i possibly can went down to the very bottom then i activated the air wheel where i then launched off the top of the map and i floated forever where i landed on the ground taking zero fall damage and i still even had the air wheel i then went back up to the top of the build where i then also used the air jump where i then landed on the ground still taking zero fall damage making this honestly a pretty overpowered mythic just to have in your inventory not only can you rotate extremely quick but you can also prevent all types of fall damage going into another water bending myth this myth is how much faster can you swim when you have the water bending mythic equipped not only does this mythic let you heal in the water but it does make you swim slightly faster than as if you didn't have it i placed one wall on one side of this lake and a wall on the other side of the lake where i then put both clips side by side and timed myself on how long it would take to swim when i had the water bending mythic in my hand it took about 
about 11 seconds to get from one wall to the other and when i had no mythic in my hand it also took 11 seconds which is strange because i'm pretty sure i heard that this water bending mythic will allow you to swim faster in the water and that's just not the case going into the next myth the next myth is what happens when the floating island spawns on top of the moving train not only does this island spawn 10 minutes into the match whenever the third zone forms it could also spawn anywhere on the map as well lining up with the moving train being anywhere on the map at any given time too you need to time this up perfectly in order for this to happen making this literally a one in a million chance while i was in the game i saw a rift forming above the train track and the train wasn't too far away the rift was destroying all the trees around and if you're beneath the island when it spawns it'll teleport you up into the air but once it spawned with the train moving underneath it it did not affect the train with the crate on board being not touched at all even the chest on board still being unopened the island had no impact but i will say this is extremely rare to happen in game and i'm sure this won't happen again going into the next myth the next myth is will the water bending mythic put out a lit campfire so a little secret that you might not know about is that you could use a chug splash and it'll put out a lit campfire while the water bending mythic doesn't shoot water but instead shoots out ice particles will this still put out the campfire testing this out though i saw as many ice particles as i possibly could at the campfire and it seemed to have no effect i even reloaded next to the campfire seeing if maybe the water will somehow affect it and it still didn't change the fire at all even standing on top of the campfire the water bending mythic the water surrounding your player will not protect you from fire damage at all going into the next myth the next myth is what happens when two zeus thunderbolts collide in midair i have to say this mythic is extremely overpowered in game and the fact getting two of them to collide is not easy doing this in game i had to take on how to make this happen this might take a lot of tries and i didn't want to worry about the storm or even players coming up so i recreated reckless railways into a zone wars map and i have a couple of zeus thunderbolts i then placed a wall directly in front of us and we stood side by side and we timed it perfectly where we both launched up into the air and began shooting our thunderbolts in the exact same spot at the exact same time well it seemed like nothing was happening and we attempted this multiple times going back into replay mode the thunderbolts did collide in midair but unfortunately it seems like nothing actually happens when when they collide in midair they just go directly through each other going into the next myth the next myth is what is the max amount of ammo that boss zeus has sometimes when you're in the boss fight it seems like the bosses just have so much ammo that it just goes on forever but is it possible to drain out all their ammo where they literally can't not shoot anymore so keeping this in mind boss zeus's thunderbolt has a total of three volts within it but on the other hand the hunter's dmr that zeus drops when you eliminate him isn't the one that he uses in the fight he instead uses a warforged ar with a max of 35 rounds per magazine and with the full inventory i have to bait out over 14 mags from him so keeping this in mind going in game i then spawned in zeus where i then began the fight and i just held down a wall where he emptied magazine after magazine after magazine into me boss Zeus was just reloading over and over and over again and throughout this entire time he was also using his thunderbolt mythic where towards the end of the fight he already used it over seven times i then finally eliminated boss Zeus, where he dropped not only his dmr but a thunderbolt mythic and his medallion where it dropped the same amount of loot as if i eliminated him earlier on into the fight this loot included 20 medium bullets as well as 27 bullets in the huntress dmr and three shots in the lightning bolt mythic so these bosses they have unlimited ammo you cannot drain all the ammo out of them at all going into the next myth the next myth is can you use the fire bendy mythic to light builds on fire first hitting up a couple of wooden builds of my own i then shot the fire bendy mythic directly at it where it would only damage the build slightly and not light them on fire even going close up to it and shooting the fire directly at the ground the fire will not spread over to the builds even if you do the fire spin onto the builds it'll just do a whole ton of damage and no fire will actually be spread onto the builds itself going into the next myth the next myth is can you rocket ride the debris from the earth bending mythic so in game with the earth bending mythic i shot it directly at my teammate where it'll get destroyed upon impact while that was promising i also shot another piece of debris up into the air where i shot it and if you look closely you could see little particles coming off this all points towards the fact that the debris might have its own hitbox so trying this out in game me and my friend lined up where he shot as many pieces of debris as he possibly can at me and it seemed like it was not working that was until from his pov he saw my player glitch out for just a second as if i stood on top of the debris and then it moved out from underneath me that meant that this was possible to do it was just not easy we then tried a new technique where he shot the debris straight up at me but every single time i jumped in front of it it'll just get destroyed upon 
impact so that way didn't work either lastly i stood on the edge of a pillar with my feet barely hanging off that way my hitbox might be able to get clipped by the debris hitbox and to my surprise it actually worked launching me literally across the entire map it was actually a very very smooth ride and in the air i tried to pickaxe the debris and it didn't do any damage but what's very weird is that when the debris hit the ground for the first time it then bounced back up keeping my player on top of it and it even did this once more for an entire different bounce and it would have continued doing this across the entire map but my player then hit a tree where i then fell and took fall damage 